Recent observed feminization of aquatic animals has raised concerns about estrogenic compounds in water supplies and the potential for these chemicals to reach drinking water. While much attention has been focused on the environmental impacts of xenoestrogens, the endocrine-disrupting industrial pollutants, relatively little research has examined the ecological consequences of environmental loading with actual estrogens. Uh, this is somewhat surprising, given that the potency of some estrogens can be thousands of times more estrogenic than you know, typical endocrine-disrupting chemicals. Estradiol, for example, is at least 10,000 times more potent than most xenoestrogens, and dietary exposure to natural sex steroids in meat, dairy, and eggs is therefore highly relevant in the discussion of the impact of, of estrogens on human development and health. And like you know, chicken estrogen is identical to human estrogen, they're identical molecules, so it doesn't matter if it ends up in our drinking supply from women taking birth control pills excreted in their urine, or cows excreting it into their milk. The source doesn't matter, the quantity does. And a child's exposure to estrogens in drinking water is about 150 times lower than exposure from cow's milk. So our day-to-day -day estrogen levels are more likely determined by you know, whether or not we happen to eat you know, dairy products that day. Human urine is often cited as the main source of natural and synthetic estrogens in the aquatic environment, but the level of estrogen, even in the urine of you know, heavy meat eaters who have significantly higher levels, pales in comparison to the estrogens excreted by the farm animals themselves. Uh, pigs, sheep, cattle, chickens produce literally tons of estrogen every year. Women uh, may excrete uh, 16 micrograms every day, but farm animals may release 10 times more, in the case of pregnant cows, thousands of times more. Animal waste may contribute an estimated 90% of total estrogens in the environment. Uh, five gallons of runoff water contaminated with chicken manure may contain a birth control pill's worth of estrogen. Estrogen levels in poultry litter are so high that when farmers feed chicken manure to their animals to save on feed costs, it may trigger premature development. Poultry manure has been among the highest hormone content, to quadruple the total estrogens, and nine times more of the 17 beta estradiol, the most potent estrogen, which could be considered a complete carcinogen as it exerts both you know, tumor initiating and tumor promoting effects. You know, but who cares, though, from a human health standpoint? Do we care about feminized fish or the appearance of intersex cockroaches? The problem is that the hormones get into our food supply. Endogenous steroid hormones in food of animal origin are unavoidable, as they occur naturally in these products. It's not a matter of injected hormones, which are banned in places like Europe in order to protect consumers' health. They're part of animal metabolism. And so as a matter of fact, you know, all foodstuffs of animal origin contain steroid hormones. And the presence of hormones in food has been connected with several human health problems.